so you gotta excuse the how. I'm in the flat top sleeper, boy, 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 boy. When on earth can I get this thing? Oh, my hair braided, I don't know, man. It's looking rough. It's definitely got a lot of new growth up there, but, uh, man. It was a long morning, y'all. It, it was a long morning. So let me tell you about my day. Get up around, uh, i say it was like 2 a.m., you know, uh, prepare my coffee, got my food, and, uh, you know, I get down to the yard, right? So, uh, I get to the yard, do my pre-trip on my truck. You know, I start it up, let everything warm up. And, uh, you know, that take like 30 minutes. Then, you know, I go and look for the trailer in the yard. So, I uh, found the trailer, you know, no problem. Hook up to it, do my pre-trip on the trailer. You know, truck's still warming up. Hook everything up, you know, go and uh, make sure the trailer clean, you know, that type of stuff. And once I did all that, I got ready to pull out. And, uh, you know, I took off. And it's like the trailer wouldn't move. So I got out. I looked at the tires, made sure the landing gear was up. You know, I'm looking through all the tires. I'm like, well, I'm not stuck on nothing. So I get back in the truck. I try pulling again. I'm pulling. And I'm like, man, this trailer is not moving. It's got to be loaded or something. So, uh, you know, I go back up top, open the dome again, and I said, nah, man, it's clean as a whistle. So, uh, you know, I made, I made sure I put on the right, uh, my, uh, my, uh, airlines. I made sure I connected them correctly, you know, and I did, you know, it's pitch black dark out there. So, you know, that, that type of stuff can happen. And, uh, now that wasn't a problem at all. So I figured, well, maybe the brakes are just locked up or something you know if i drag it them tires will start to roll so i uh i put in my uh what do you call it the uh, you know the axle lock and i dragged the trail out the parking spot but uh you know in the yard we got potholes yeah we got potholes and it was raining hard too so they was they was filled so i dragged this trail out you know and i drag it like out in front with all the other trailers but the tractor goes down in the pothole and you know, I'm dragging the trailer. So as the trailer lose traction, the, I mean, as the tractor lose traction, the trailer, you know, I can't pull it no more. So I'm stuck in the pothole and the tires are spinning. And I'm like, what in the fuck is going on? You know, cause I, you know, I put it in reverse. I can't move. I put it in drive. I can't move. I twist and turn. And I can't move. I don't know what's, I tried dropping the airbags. I can't move. So I get out and I look at the tire. I look at my tires. I'm like, man, I'm not even, I'm not even uh, in the pothole. I'm not even in the, like I was almost in the pothole. I was probably like maybe a foot away from having my tires in the pothole. But it wasn't it now. The tires here traction. I was spinning, but I was spinning on pavement. You know, all I was kicking up rocks. So uh, I go back in and look at the trailer tires again. And uh, I see the right side of the uh, the trailer. I don't know if it, I don't know which set of tires, but I see, you know, tire marks from where it was dragging. So, uh, you know, I look between the tires, make sure ain't nothing stuck up in there. I look at the brakes and, uh, the only thing I could think of was the brakes are completely locked and they need to be caged. So, uh, I'm stuck. I mean, I can't go forward or backwards, so I get in the truck. I try it again, you know, and this at this time, it, I didn't waste a whole hour just trying to do this, just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. It ain't happening. So once I realized that I was completely stuck and can't move, I dropped the trailer and, uh, you know, I pulled the uh, fifth wheel, dropped my airbags again, and I just truck just took right off with no problem so i had to leave that that freaking trailer right there blocking i think i'm blocking like three or four trailers right now somebody's gonna be pissed when they come to work <laughs> they're gonna be pissed <laughs> but uh you know it's four in the morning i said well i got another option the option is uh you know i just came back from uh from dallas and i just took that same load so i'm like well 
let me just hook up to my trailer, my old trailer, and go and, you know, go re and do the load. So I go hook up to my old trailer, still right there. Ain't nobody mess with it. Still got the same product left on it. But uh, as I'm hooking up to it, I go ahead and call uh, Breakdown because that's the only people you can call around this time. So I call Breakdown and I, I asked him, I said, hey, look, this is the situation. Can I, uh, can I just load the same product onto this trailer? And they was like, oh, I can't give you the, you know, authority to do that. Either basically, they don't want to take responsibility if the load get contaminated. So uh, I said, well, I'm gonna have to wake up. Uh, I'm gonna have to wake up the terminal manager at four in the morning on Sunday. <laughs> so I sent a test message to both of them first, you know, hoping that one of them was woke, so I didn't have to, you know, call. But I didn't get no reply back, so I went on and called and uh, told her the situation. And, uh, you know, uh, she gave me another trailer to, uh, well, actually, no, what happened was, uh, because I bobtailed down here. What happened, they already had a trailer here, so they, uh, I guess the local guy went, went ahead and preloaded my trailer for me. So now I don't have to, uh, well, I'm not getting, I, the only thing that happens is I don't get detention. You know, I plan to sit here, you know, four or five hours and go to sleep, but I just got a phone call that the trailer's already loaded. All I gotta do is go check in and go get it and go back to the house. You know, this load don't deliver to Dallas until, what's today, the 12th? Yeah, today's the 12th, so it delivers on the 14th. But, uh, you know, I sit at the house until the 14th. <laughs> Cause it's only seven hours from, from you know, from the drive. So uh, that's how my day went, man. And uh, I took a picture, I took a picture of the trailer being stuck. So y'all can get, kind of get an idea, excuse me, but um, if I get back, well, I'm pretty sure the trailer's still going to be stuck right there because they closed on Sunday. So I guess I'll do a video and show y'all. It's just stuck. Like, I don't, you know, I, I don't know what to tell them. You know, it's stuck. You know, I can't, I can't hook up to it and move it because it's stuck. You know, I'm tired spinning. So they're going to have to get a mechanic out there and uh, fix that, that braking system. If that, I don't even know if that's the problem. I'm just assuming, you know, I don't have two people. So it ain't like I have somebody, you know, try to pull the trailer forward while I figure out, you know, what's going on in the back. I'm just assuming that the brakes was uh, locked up. So that's, you know, cause I, it wasn't nothing stuck on them, you know. So that's how my day went this morning. And, um, did, oh, and then I did all this while I was pouring down rain into it to be, to make it even worse. But, uh. Yeah, man, I'm down here at the plant, and uh, Bob tell him finna go and hook up and head back to the house. So that's how my day is going. Yeah, I might just go ahead and upload this video. Was it like nine in the morning, ten in the morning, or something like that? Chilling, chilling. So, yep, I thought I'd give y'all this story. Y'all be wondering why I got the hat on. This is why I got the hat on. Okay, it's because. It's COVID-19. I can't get my hair braided or cut, so I'm kind of fucked. So, you know, deal with it, damn it. I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. And my hair, you know, I got all this new growth and shit. I got braids, if y'all don't know. I don't know if y'all know. Did I tell y'all? I think I told you. I got braids and shit. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking rough as fuck right now. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, oh, truck running fine. You know, truck started right up, didn't they? Didn't even have to prime it. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. Shit, I may not never have to ever prime it again, you know. <laughs> maybe the starter, you know, maybe that issue was the reason why uh, I kept having to prime it. I don't know, but yeah, hey, that's fired up right now. I started up with confidence. That's all I'm saying, but that's how my morning went. That's how it went. So I'm fit to, uh, I guess, go check in. Yeah, up here at the plant, man. Oh, and they had to have an extra pair of socks because boy, 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 my shoes and my socks were soaking wet. Yeah, soaking wet. Yeah, stepped in like four feet of water. It was over with. It was definitely over with. But other than that, I'd be all right, man. Luckily, I keep a bag on me with extra clothes right here to be exact. So. Yeah, that's how that's going. I'm trying to see. I don't know what we got going on over there. In the flat and shit. I need to go by the chrome shop, get that back fixed, man. They said I'm missing a, um, what did they tell me? A, uh, 
I forgot the piece, but a piece popped out of it, so they're going to, uh, they'll put that back on for free, no problem. I forgot, like a, like an O-ring or something like that. But other than that, man, you know, beautiful Sunday, freight still moving, no issues whatsoever, not in this chemical world. I hear the, the fuel house is slowing down because people ain't buying fuel, but uh, you guys do hazmat, so I mean, switch the trailer. I mean, come on now. Switch the trailer. If you, if you ain't making money hauling fuel, switch the trailer. You got hazmat. Try something new. That's all I'm saying. You already got the certifications. Or just wait it out. They got to buy some fuel eventually. Shit, they got to... I don't know, man. I don't know. Y'all figure it out. Y'all figure it out. Other than that, uh, in my world, the freight rates is awesome. Fuel is, is dirt cheap, under $2 a gallon. Uh, well... Nah, it's like 213, 213. But uh, as far as freight rates, we hauling four to six dollars a mile, and like I said, fuel is dirt cheap, and freight is uh, all over the place. So, uh, also another thing y'all should keep in mind, we got a message on the Qualcomm from the CEO, and basically what it was saying was, um, our carrier is essential to the United States infrastructure, so. We have to run. We don't have no choice. Like, you know, for example, uh, before the drive-in gas can go down to the Nestle plant and haul water, you know, a uh, chemical driver got to bring in the peroxide, the water treatment stuff to the plant for them to treat the water before they put it in the water bottles and put it on the drive-in trailer. So we haul like the raw materials, the main ingredients to make the product before it's loaded onto like a drive-in or a reefer trailer or whatever trailers hauled onto, you know. So I'm at the plant right now. I'm at the manufacturer. Okay, so this is why they're making the products. You know what I'm saying? Then the drive-in gas, they got to come and pick the shit up and do whatever they do. So I'm on I'm on the first stage of the products. So that's why freight is wonderful. You know, uh, at least in this area. Now, I don't know about every, everywhere else now. I don't... When I talk about the chemical world, I'm only talking about my particular terminal, not carrier, terminal. I don't know about anybody else, okay? Just talking about my particular terminal, you know, and the plants right here in Tennessee. I don't know about no plant elsewhere. I'm, I'm talking about right here in Tennessee. I don't know about Texas or, uh, you know, North Carolina area or, Maybe Boston area or California. I have no idea. I'm talking about this plant right here in Tennessee. Goddamn, all I see is white smoke all over the sky coming out that tower over there. That mean they making money. That's all I need to see. 